I know they say enjoy the journey, but I really want to get there. Like, hello guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Whitney. I'm 21 years old. I'm a female trucker. If you're new here on this channel and you're seeing me for the first time, I am in Jupiter right now. And it, it is so beautiful. Look at this. It's just beautiful. Like, oh my god. Wow, oh my god, look at the sky, the trees, the grass, the water. Like somebody can just be fishing out there and just sitting on the grass. I mean, if there's no alligators, of course, if there's no alligators, no, you know, weird animals from the lake, I wouldn't mind. Like, I wouldn't mind sitting down there putting a blanket on the grass, just sitting there feeling the sun, of course, with sunscreen on, because you, you can see this arm is darker than that one, but that's another story. But I can see myself sitting down, having a picnic with some friends, just sitting, eating fruit, snacks, some bread, or I don't know, some, something fancy, and then maybe fishing. I don't, I, I just, I just like the vibe. I can picture it, and that's why I'm working so hard, so I can, take my time and do those things without having somebody behind my back just telling me what to do i, I don't want to sell my time anymore <sighs> i know they say enjoy the journey but i really want to get there like uh, the journey what like i want to be there i want to do those things it might just be me but um that's why i wanted to show you guys with that said i had a super long day i started working at seven o'clock this morning and I just had a lot of back and forth with work and I had a lot of back and forth with loads that are wrong and they just messed up like and I wasn't the only driver from like that's what I tell you Swift oh my god when you choose a company I know each companies have their own BS but you gotta choose your demons like I must I'm in mean, the starter company sure but that's too much to deal with like you guys have no good communication like how the hell i have a problem on the road i'm calling somebody in the office it's normal office hours and there's nobody to pick up the phone and i call the 800 number that you know that's from memphis if you know if you are from swift like they have a general number that you can call and they will help you and nobody's picking up the damn phone and i was watching this youtuber right here i think her name is nia and she left Swift for this, the same reason. I, I could understand her frustration. I really went into Swift, like, open-minded. I said, okay, some people, they have their own problem. Like, sometimes it's not even the company eats them. But nah, guys, it's the company. Like, it's no joke. It is the company. Like, I had my fair share of a hard time with Swift. And it's no joke. Sometimes it just get on my nerves. How the hell you don't pick up the phone? Like, that's the least that I'm asking you. If I'm on the road, I'm on the field, I'm working hard, I'm I'm the most at risk. You can't just pick up the phone. Make it make sense. I mean, I feel like even if I go to another company, they are also gonna have their own BS that I would have to deal with. But at least I hope that when I get my experience, I can get a better pay. But with that said, I'm about to just watch some anime. Right now I'm watching my happy marriage. Oh my God, that thing makes me blush. But yeah, I'm about to go lay down, watch some anime, and then we'll see what they bring me tomorrow. Cause I am literally at the shipper for my load tomorrow. So I hope that I can get loaded as soon as possible. The, the minute that they open, I'm getting loaded and I get my behind to my destination because I've been in this state for way too long in Florida for way too long so I'm ready to leave the state because people in Florida they don't know how to drive and that pisses me off because how the hell you see a semi truck and you're crossing right next to my hood mirror with no turn signal on and you break right in front of me or you pass me with no turn signal on and just to do the same pace as me if you're passing me just go like drive drive so that I don't have to see you in front of me or at least you're like 12 feet away from me but no these people decide to drive right in front of me after passing me next to my hood mirror and i have to press my brake creating a phantom traffic behind me like for no freaking reason 
if you don't know what a phantom traffic is it's when there's no accident no construction nothing like no police that stops cars and then it's just traffic for no damn reason it's because people are targeting passing people with no with no turn signal and going lower than the speed limit or speeding all of these great traffic and that's why i don't like i don't like driving in florida or major cities in general but um yeah yeah guys i'm gonna go rest and i'll see you in the morning guys i am currently at the love truck stop i'm about to fuel and then we're gonna take a shower being clean i just need my tripod so i can show you guys I think I showed you guys already. However, I got some new people on the channel. There's new family to the channel, so I had to show you guys how I do it myself. Like, duh. Let me turn off the trumpet. Okay, and I also need coolant. I texted my driver leader. She haven't answered yet. I need coolant on my truck. Yeah. So. I usually wear my gloves because I don't know what these people do with their hands before they come fuel. I don't know. Like I'm not I'm not risking anything, okay? I don't need no germs, no diseases, no nothing, okay? Guys, I'm gonna explain to you what I do here. First, I use the company's card. Then I use the Love's Rewards card so I can get my points, so I can shower for free and get snacks for free, of course. Then they're gonna ask you for your unit number. I put my truck number when, I, when they ask me for the unit number. Then they're gonna ask me for um, my driver's license, I think. I put my driver's license number. Then they're gonna ask me for the state. I put the state. Then they're gonna ask me if I need fuel for my tractor. I say yes. Then they ask me if I have reefer. I say no or something like that. And then they're gonna ask you if you need any other product. Usually I say yes, I need DEF for um, the exhaust. But I think this time I did not use DEF, DEF. So, or some people call it DEF. And next I just put my stuff in my truck and then I just start fueling. Easy peasy, everyone can do it. In the meantime, I'm gonna clean my windshield. Touch my feet, y'all, and I don't play with that. 
after we park, we're gonna see if we can get a shower, and that will be that will be it.